Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey everyone, it's the awesome chat with another good one this week. We're going to talk about traveling a bit, but first, please go check out everything at awesomecast.net. Subscribe to this show and so many others, audio and video version over there, iTunes, YouTube, uh, everywhere, uh, and, uh, and 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 everything going on. And last last uh, our last bits of uh, uh, interviews that we've had there, the entire archive. Just click on the, the the category for awesome chats, and you can find out a bunch of awesome people that we've talked to in Pittsburgh doing awesome things and beyond right uh so with me i got another awesome awesome uh, entrepreneur here that i met at uh, an open coffee club uh several months ago we got to, to, to reconnect there at a recent event uh we have on the line here armin bimitov uh of travelwits.com how you doing pretty good how are you excellent excellent so first of all well first of all is your buddy still with you over there <laughs> Uh, this guy? Yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the chief dog officer. The chief dog <laughs> officer. So if you hear any uh, any yips in the background, that's what's going on there. Uh, I understand he was pretty playful before the show. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, well, uh, tell me, uh, what is travelwits dot com, and what are you trying to do with this? So uh, what we're doing is uh, we're uh, so what we're doing is we're building vacations within budget. Mm-hmm. Uh, three easy steps you pick your budget you select a theme where you want to go you know beach all inclusive skiing hiking sightseeing whatever and then within seconds we we come up with uh, combinations of destination uh, hotel and transportation uh, all over the world that get you the best deal for your money so whether it's you know driving to Myrtle Beach uh, and then staying at a more expensive hotel there, or maybe flying to Cancun and staying at a cheaper hotel there. So, you know, people people spend tons of time looking at whether they should take their family to Cancun or whether they should take their family just two hours away to Lake Erie. And it takes a lot of time looking at not just destinations, but also transportation and accommodation. Uh, I see you're doing a search on Travelwits. You mm-hmm. should probably go to Vacations because that's the the one that uh, I'm talking about, the, the one I'm pitching. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so to avoid any confusion, we've built so far. We've built two products: uh, Travelwits.com, which is a kind of cheapest way to get from A to B, and then uh, the other side is. Uh, the currently shown on the screen is vacations.travelwits.com, which is still in private beta. Uh, and it's uh, basically um, the the one that I pitched right now. It's in private beta because we're still figuring, uh, figuring out everything, uh, improving user experience. Uh, but it already works, so you can actually book everything. We already had some bookings on our site. Um, yep. Excellent. So, I, you know, my, my, I think my first question to you when you were telling about this was uh, pretty much like what what kind of connects what what breaks this apart from other? It seems like hundreds of travel sites these days. Your price lines and your, uh, you know, I don't even know who else is out there. Your, I don't know, is kayak still a thing? Uh, mm-hmm. So, so what is the biggest thing that kind of sticks you apart from there? Uh, so the biggest thing is um, just uh, the fact that uh, we have um, underlying technology. Uh, that is um, superior to others, and uh, what it what it is is it allows us to search across uh, many, many, many different uh, variables, many unknowns like uh, choice of destination. You know, you can go to anywhere across the world. Uh, you can go to so many different hotels, so many different uh, transportations uh, t- transportation modes you can take, and just the its uh, degrees like. It's magnitudes of uh, uh, complexity much more complex than, than all the other sites. So that's that's the core the core um, competitive advantage is our technology. And, and I notice you're kind of going the opposite way, right? You're saying you're you're saying like, okay, I have two thousand dollars, 
and I'm working down from there on exactly what I can do, right? Versus the other yeah. ones seem to be, okay, I want to go on vacation, and and the prices seem to, seem to add on, add on, add on, add on. Um, mm -hmm. So so it seems that uh, you have a ceiling when you're setting these up, right? Yeah, exactly. What we want to do is we want to give uh, the user an understanding of uh, you know where she he, sh he or she should go uh, and um, and how much it's going to be. And and that's a, a real price. That's not because uh, so, there there are some sites that are kind of like for inspiration. Mm -hmm. You know, you can say I want to go to somewhere warm, and uh, I don't I don't know when, but uh, just give me some prices, and it it'll give you like seasonal prices or or yearly averages. But these are so so wrong. And what we're doing is we're pulling all this data in real time about flights, about hotels, about uh, parking costs. Um, and so on. And, and we're obviously working on adding other themes and adding, adding more transportation modes, like let's say shuttles, right? Getting from a, an airport to the hotel. So it's all inclusive. Uh, I, I, I like that because it's, it, it, you know, I, I, I'm not a traveler and uh, very much. Um, yeah. uh, only recently in the past year, gone on my first plane to be quite honest. Uh, sure. and, and so like that idea of like going someplace and figuring out, Figuring out the rental car and something like that is something, it's scary to me, to be quite honest. Uh, especially yeah. if something I want to go by myself or just with somebody else that doesn't really travel as well. Um, and also the, you know, again, that kind of that kind of price ceiling. This I like that it seems to be this all-inclusive uh, sort of situation as we're clicking through if you're on the audio. Uh, you know, we are seeing like, you know, to the point of you're like, this is the Google directions to get to the airport, right? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. And uh, this year... Uh, uh, in June, uh, right about uh, right after the, the Alpha Lab demo day, uh, we I went to a, my honeymoon. I got married and I went to the honeymoon, and uh, just figuring it out uh, the whole situation about because the our our situation was even more complicated because we were getting married in New York, upstate New York. Mm. So we had to go from upstate New York into um, we decided to go to Florida. Uh, so we had to go from there to Florida. Uh, so we didn't know anything about upstate New York. We didn't know, know anything about Florida. Uh, so that just figuring it out, like how are we going to get from that point to, to that point and in the cheapest way uh, possible? That's what, where we use travel wits actually. But uh, the, the, the primary problem there also was just the fact that there's so many different destinations we could go to. We we could, we had no idea. We spent like a few weeks looking at a bunch of different places, like uh, Saint Martin, uh, like the Virgin Islands, and uh, Florida, and all these different places. And uh, it just takes so much time. Uh, and then you know, you know you set your mind on something. Let's say we set our mind on like the Virgin Islands or or let's say Key West, and uh, then we started looking into the costs. And then we figured out, we, you know, if we, we're, it's not worth it. We don't want to go to that place. So then you have to go back to square one and just try to figure out what, what, it, what is, where the po other possible destinations within your budget. But currently, it's impossible to, to figure that out. That's why we built this. Exactly. I know I was looking for a hotel for a, a destination I had to go to and I had a very limited budget. And it was hard to find, okay, now I have X. What can I do? No, 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 that's too expensive. Stop giving me these yeah. other options. Stop trying to upsell me. No, I have X. This is my ceiling. What can I yeah. do with this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of like, uh, you know, a travel agent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, travel agent, the, the, the idea is you go, you tell them what you need, and they'll, they'll find it. Mm -hmm. uh, but with the online, uh, with the online travel sites, they, they kind of degraded that because. Now, you know, you have so much, so much uh, information under your fingertips. Um, and over the past 20 years, you know, we, we've had, we've seen uh, uh, the appearance of such websites as uh, Airbnb and BRBO and uh, hostel websites uh, and the, the home, home away. Uh, so the, the number of options has uh, increased significantly, but uh, sorting through them and finding uh, finding the best deal hasn't uh, gotten easier. 
it seems like these are these would be pretty good for I want to get away this weekend kind of destinations. That that's our um, that's our one of our next uh, themes. Mm-hmm. As, as you can see on top, we we had a few themes there, mm-hmm. uh, all inclusive. Right now, it's all inclusive only hotels. Uh, so it's hotels where you can basically pay one price and then you live there, eat and drink as much as you ca- as much as you can. Yet, yeah. uh, but uh, we want to add beach beach theme. So you can say, I just want to go to a beach. I don't care where. Uh, I have a thousand dollars. Take me anywhere, and that's uh, that's what we do. And then we want to also um, add the short getaways. For example, you know, where can I where can I go for this weekend? And I have two hundred dollars. That's my that's my dream. <laughs> I don't have much money uh, as a startup co-founder, but I want to be able to type in you know two hundred bucks. Where can I go? And it'll, it'll give me Lake Erie or Jersey Shore, which is not far away at all. Which is fine. It's fine to go to Lake Erie for the weekend completely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a great beach. Exactly. <laughs> like, nice. like I was really surprised. I, I, I kind of plugged in something random in here, and and I can go by myself to the Dominican Republic and stay there for like eight hundred bucks. Like that's incredible yeah, yeah. to me. Um, like it's for a week, right? Yeah, yeah. It's for uh, four nights in a three star hotel, which is got to mm-hmm. be pretty okay down there, right? Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever stayed in a three star hotel to be cool. Oh, no, there's that one time, but I didn't pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't we can't solve that problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, no, no. Uh, but anyway, actually, sorry, yeah. sorry. No, go for I just it. wanted to, to correct myself when I said that we can't solve that problem. Actually, one of our future uh, down the road uh, plans is to not just uh, have the, the vacation the budget site. As you've, have you noticed, so we have the travelwits.com, which solves the cheapest way to get from A to B, vacations within budget. But we also want to extend our technology beyond that and, uh, and solve many, many different travel problems. And one of the problems uh, that seems interesting to us uh, down the road is uh, utilization of uh, hotel points and, and uh, mile frequent flyer mi- miles, because if you, co- you co- use those correctly in combination with uh, your your money, you can get some really good uh, cheap deals. And a lot of people are doing that. It's just uh, not very easy to figure that out. It just doesn't all come together very easily. So tell me about if we can get a little technical here. Um, like what what goes into building something like this? I, I noticed there's some some services uh, kind of listed at the bottom. Uh, it looks like are these APIs that you're working on? How easy is it for you to get to the information that you need to put all this together? Uh, so yeah, uh, we have uh, we have uh, obviously the the algorithm underlying algorithm that uh, takes uh, all this data. And uh, um, efficiently and effectively uh, <clears throat> parses through it, and then spits out, uh, you know, your options basically. So we have that, and we have um, a number of data sources, uh, and it's a combination of uh, APIs as well as our own uh, in-house data. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so we have different provider data providers for hotels, flights. Um, and uh, um, what was I going to say? Uh, shuttles, shuttles, and uh, uh, public transportation options. So we have different data providers for that and uh, the algorithm. And then obviously the front end uh, is built uh, kind of separately from that, and and helps us. Uh, it it basically takes all this uh, the options that the algorithm produces and then shows them on the site. Mm-hmm. And, and from what I understand, we, I, I guess we helped you a little bit when we talked about this uh, a, a couple of uh, months ago, I think, over on the Awesome Cast. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was looking at the Awesome Cast and, uh, and I was like uh, looking at the options and uh, I looked into it and there's something strange happening. And I was like, oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> and then I filed it and, uh, um, I think we fixed it. In a video, you can see uh, how how much different it looked uh, just several months ago 
here when, when we first uh, talked about this is actually dated back in April uh, that, that, we're, that we're showing this off from. Um, so th- it, that, that's a new one for us. We've never helped a, a bug report uh, by showing something off on the show before. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that, that's, that's how it works with startups, I guess. Mm-hmm. Whatever yeah. source you can get, right? Um, so, it, of course, you're uh, uh, supporting on your T-shirt there uh, the awesome Alpha Lab. You mentioned Demo Day. Uh, you've been through the process with them uh, over there. Uh, so tell me, what was that process like? And, and kind of like, where did you start? Because I think a lot of people, when, when they hear about the Alpha Lab program, they're not sure at what point they should be at before they even like put something in. Uh, where were you at to begin with? And how far did you come leading up to Demo Day? Um, so we had uh, we had the initial product uh, travelwoods.com and it was still uh, very raw, uh, but it did the job. So you could uh, book your flight. Um, so just to, to describe a little bit uh, for those who don't know, travelwoods.com is uh, searches for cheapest way to get from A to B, including buses, trains, parking costs, gas costs, and flights. For example, you know it might be much cheaper to fly from Cleveland. Uh, in order to get to here, well, not actually Cleveland, Toronto, for example, a perfect example. You can drive to Toronto, park there, and then fly to fly to Paris, I think, and then maybe drive to London um, or take a train to London. So that's that was the idea on Travels.com. But back to Alpha Lab, uh, we we had uh, the initial product, uh, like I said, uh, still a very kind of beta version. Uh, and then we had uh, uh, three co-founders, three, three of us, uh, and we were um, basically we built this product, and then we needed help with figuring out how do we get this to, to the users, to the right users. Um, and then over the next uh, few months, uh, over the Alpha Lab cycle, we um, we kind of took us a step further and pursued our initial dream, which is vacations within budget. And we built that. Uh, and we um, started, you know, thinking about who it's going to serve and uh, what, what the initial target market is going to be for this and what, what the business, how the business model is going to look. Uh, so that was, that was our progress over the, the few months in Alpha Lab. Excellent. Excellent. And in general, it, you know, uh, you say I ran it with you, ran into you, uh, actually the, the, the party, uh, the start off maker fair a few weeks ago and, uh, you know, Apple lab Nova center is, is coming up over there on the North side. Uh, of course you've been a part of the, 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 the system on, at, at the old location now Apple lab and there's a lot of things happening. East Liberty all over town here, great incubators, great co-working spaces. Uh, what do you think of the kind of state of, uh, kind of the environment for startups here in Pittsburgh? Um, well, it's, it's hard for me to compare because I, I'm coming from uh, Riga in Latvia, mm-hmm. uh, and I left there when I was still a high school student. Uh, I don't remember having much uh, startup activity there, <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately. But I, yeah, I feel like uh, um, this is a very kind of uh, young, uh, young atmosphere in Pittsburgh. Like it feels very young to me and uh, I like it. And uh, I think that from what I hear, uh, Pittsburgh is uh, it's definitely a, a very good startup scene. Um, yeah. And I, I think, uh, again, I'm excited that it's the one part of uh, kind of not, not the beginning, but uh, part of a, a really active stage in, mm-hmm. in the, entrepreneurship uh, in Pittsburgh. Excellent. So what is, uh, what's kind of the, the, the split this question a little bit, but, uh, what's the best and the kind of worst thing about, uh, your experience so far, uh, uh starting a company like this? Mm, um, <laughs> the, the, the best experience is, um, uh, receiving emails, from uh, customers, <laughs> the best, I guess the best and worst <laughs> uh, is receiving emails from customers. Yeah. It's basically, yeah, the best experience is to hear someone, someone tell you that it works for mm-hmm. them, that it solves their problem. 
And uh, uh, we actually had a, an, a, a case a few months ago where uh, we got an email from uh, a lady and she, she was uh, asking a question, but she attached a screenshot of uh, what she got on our site on travelers.com. Not, not the vacations one, but the, the, the first one. And she was traveling, I think, from Louisiana to uh, Pennsylvania, uh, and she needed like a last-minute uh, ticket. Uh, Travels works uh, great for those. And uh, she she found a deal, uh, kind of like fl- fl- driving for an hour and a half to a different airport and flying from that different airport versus flying, you know, directly from her uh, city. And the difference was a thousand dollars. Per person, so the, the 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 flight from a different airport, an hour and a half away, was like uh, uh, I think two hundred dollars, and the flight from uh, the, her own airport was a uh, thousand twelve hundred dollars or something like oh, that. Jeez. So yeah, I, I looked at that screenshot and I was like, "This is crazy," and uh, we kind of reproduced it, uh, and we. Uh, shared our own screenshot on Reddit, and uh, <clears throat> it got um, it got insane amount of uh, attention in the uh, travel subreddit. Uh, people were, you know, liking it, and we had over nineteen thousand views on just on that uh, screenshot. Uh, wow. And people were just, you know, saying the the greatest things. So that yeah, that was the best experience uh, I would say. Um, and uh, the worst, um, I guess it's it's kind of hard to say. There's a lot of things <laughs> that uh, but that you can say, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you if you're able to identify that, then uh, maybe you shouldn't be <laughs> running a startup. No, I I, I think. Uh, the the worst uh, is the worst is not not getting that feedback. Mm-hmm. You know it. The worst. No, you know what? The the worst is times when uh, when you're kind of uncertain if you have a a fit. Uh, let let's say, you know, you get maybe some feedback from users and they're like, yeah, it's it's okay, it's good, and it's kind of like you don't get that strong signal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sometimes, you know, some points, uh, in the past we've had the, these moments and, uh, that, that was kind of frustrating because, you, you know, you don't know for sure. Right. But, but, uh, when you, when the example that I gave you, that was like a very, very strong signal and that's what, uh, that's what we're looking for always. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, what's your roadmap? Can people can people go and book currently at your at your beta site, or how how does that work right now? Yeah, so travelers dot com, you can already book everything, uh, uh, mainly flight mm-hmm. and uh, vacations. Vacations dot travelers dot com still in private beta, meaning that uh, you know you know the link, you can you can go to it, but. Uh, uh, we're still kind of working on it, but you can already book your flight and hotel. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Cool. So go check it out. Travelwits.com. Uh, follow them on, on their social media uh, so you can get an idea of what's going on. And of course, you'll have announcements on there as new features uh, uh, crop up and go public, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a Twitter. We have Facebook. Uh, we we checked all, all the check check boxes on on our social media list. <laughs> <laughs> We're in all the places we need to be. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Armand, for for joining us. Go check out travelwits.com. And thank you, uh, everybody who's checking this out, awesomecast.net. You can subscribe to this and our regular podcast. And we're there every Tuesday night at live.com. Uh, sorgatronmedia.com starting around about 6 p.m. 
Eastern time every Tuesday. You can join us live in the chat room. And sometimes a little earlier, we'll have an interview like this if schedules work out. Uh, and Or at least you'll see what we recorded if it's some other time in the week. Hey, you guys are busy, especially you guys in the uh, entrepreneurial space. You're all over the place. We, I, I understand we squeezed this in right before something else you had to do. Uh, so it's it's uh, we, we're flexible with it. Uh, so it's really awesome to, to be able to get these guys into your busy times here. Uh, so uh, go check out check out Travel Wits. Thank you uh, to our awesome guest, Armand uh, Travel Wits. And uh, you've been our awesome audi- audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs>